guys, it's Ryan Spencer here back with another video's time, and yeah, I'm doing this late at night, so I'm not gonna go too long with this, and I'm gonna try and not be too loud, but I don't know. Now, like I said, but we're gonna do we're back with another video's time. I've been gone for a while. I don't know. I besides uploading some stuff, another my um review on on Spider Man No Way Home and stuff like that. Again, you guys can look, you know. Nobody have his car popping out right, right, right about now, and and you, you know there'll be well thing at the end. But again, like I said, hey, we're going over our paper predictions for WWE Elimination Chamber 2022. So yeah, this is supposed to be on tomorrow around 11, noon. I think 11 maybe. Um, on on I don't know. It's on Saturday, and yeah, it's in Saudi Arabia, so that's why it's. Early, so I want to get 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 to bed soon and get up early before it starts because I want to do a review on it. If you guys are wondering about my review for War Rumble, it's coming soon. I just I think it will come up on Sunday. I I, I think I'll watch it again. But yeah, Elimination Chamber. Um, can't say I mean, there's too much on this card I care about, but maybe it'll be entertaining for the most part. But yeah, we got I don't know. There's nothing too much going on. We it's just again we're the world of us may. Uh, and they had to have Elimination Chamber in some cases, even though I still wish they would just bring back the No Way Out name. For, for that just made it sound better instead of just being a name, have a pay-per-view just based on a, a match. But again, yeah, again, like I said, it's in Saudi Arabia this time, so the usual Saudi Arabia thing, which Arabia pay-per-view thing, they like doing, just earn money. And yeah, I... I don't know, I never understand the whole Sonic Raven stuff. It was fine the first time, but now it's just half the time there's nothing more, much in the card. The, at least they had, at least they used a pay-per-view that I kind of care about, but but um, I don't know. I think my only other issue with the with their Sonic Raven pay-per-views they start they had it like early in the day. So yeah, so there's some like I said, besides the elimination chamber matches, the rest of the cards kind of okay. But yeah, well, enough talking. Let's just go right into the match card, going over what, what, what I think is gonna win and my th thoughts around it and everything else. But yeah, let's just move on. Let's just go right. In. Okay, on to th so the first match in the card I'm going over is is a match that you know, I feel like just got re bad re very recently. Is is Rey Mysterio with Dominic in his corner? Against the Miz and no more race, but I'm just gonna guess it's because it's because since we're in Saudi Arabia and everything, I, I guess Maurice would kind of come over and anything like that. But I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. But yeah, versus the Miz, like I said, uh, I actually don't know what to think about this match. I feel like we've seen it before, and I'm just gonna and I'm, I don't even know if I want to go too long with this. I just the storyline for the this is just um. The Miz just went against um, Dominic Mysterio, and and um, Dominic got the got the win and everything, and with help from Ray a little bit, but and stuff like that. I, I don't know what to go over. I, I haven't watched. I've been a little bit in and out of Raw lately, and because it's just been if meh lately. Um, I could say the same for SmackDown. I don't know, but. WWE as a whole has been mad lately. I, I even you guys have to agree with that. AEW has been and and just just been knocking knocking WWE from left to right. Um, honestly, Wait, so I don't know. But I'm just gonna say Ray wins because uh, Maurice isn't here and everything, anything like that. Like I said, unless um Dominic turns on Ray on his father for some reason. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just gonna. Say Ray wins the match against the Miz in Saudi Arabia, and let's just move on. Next match on the card, which I'm kind of excited, but kind of not at the same time. I mean, I'm just trying to get a stand for some apparent reason, just, just me, and stuff like that. And yeah, I, ha I do have the old edition more on the Browsy, but again, it's um, uh, no, it's tap it. I'm loose. Loose, like I said, it just. Feel, feels loose. Most like I said. So, but yeah, going on to the what matches we we got um, Ronda Rousey and Naomi, Naomi going against Charlotte and Sonya Deville, and basically the stipulation is that Ronda has to 
has to have one hand I behind her back act for the match. So, yeah, I, I'm just gonna guess that's just the thing. And like Ronda says, you can just beat them both with one hand behind her back, so they're doing it. And I, I don't know what to think about, um, really, but I don't know. It's just I'm, I'm kind of excited because I'm just glad to see Ronda Rousey back. And everything, and maybe Paul and Sonya the villain in her place, and stuff like that. And yeah, I just saw Sonya the I'm not using any pictures or anything like that, just I'm um, using Ron and Rousey, I mean. And, but, I don't know, like I said, Ron the one Royal Rumble, Sonya is basically um, joined up with Charlotte for some apparent reason, even though I kind of question how she's in pow still in power if she's doing that, but you know. Like I said, as far as I'm going to think it's going to win this, it's going to be Ronda Rousey and Naomi unless some, some screwiness happens, but yeah. Ronda Rousey and Naomi for the win, I'm not going to go too long with this, really. Next step up on the card is a false Canaway anywhere match with Drew McIntyre going against Madcap Moss with Happy Corbin. And this match, I'm kind of, kind of excited, but kind of not. And at the same time, well, actually, kind of, uh, I think it's just going to be pretty good because it's false count anywhere. But well, that's just me. But so yeah, we we just got our little continuation with the rival between Drew McIntyre and the the happy um group thing team something I don't even know what to call. I don't even know what to call them. Madcap Moss and Happy Corbin. And so he's going against Madcap Moss here in Saudi Arabia. Uh, basically, it's gonna be anything goes for for the heck of it, but. And stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be the a. It's gonna be pretty entertaining. Again, like I said, it's just a false camera match. He's gonna fight all over the arena, probably get throw someone off the stage and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, and um, I'm not too excited for this because I'm not really all the way in with this rivalry going on. But it's just obvious that Drew McIntyre is gonna win. Unless we get some screw, unless some corporate interferes and cost him to win, that's kind of like my only what, the only way Madcap Moss is gonna win. But yeah, Drew McIntyre for the win. Now let's go on to some of the other matches I'm actually very excited for. Okay, I just realized something, and we have another match that I completely blanked out on, and we have the Usos going against the Viking Raiders for the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And I'm not, I can't say I'm to it. I, I'm, I'm still going to think it's a pretty good match. we got the Viking Raiders, the War Raiders, Hanson and Rowe, or Ivor and Eric, which I'll, I'm, I can go on forever how I don't like. The whole name change, the team name changes, and then the name changes for both of them, Hanson and Rowe. But I'm not going to go on. And go, the take on the Usos is one of the best tag teams in the world. And, yeah, I'm really excited for this match. Um... Well, I can't, or I'm just kind of, kind of in the middle. It's kind of in the middle ground. It's not, I'm not too excited, but I am I'm excited for the most, for enough, so. I don't know, it's just, um, I feel like I've seen this before. Or, but maybe I'm, like, maybe I'm, maybe not, I don't, I'm not sure. Or, right, but, yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm, as far as I think it's going to win, I'm just going to say the Uso is going to win. I, I think they're going to hold the team. Championships until Mania. Maybe someone else will come in or something. I don't know who. There's a tag team that I don't know. Um, but I don't know. No, but like I said. And Uzo's for the win. I, again, I didn't want to go too long with this either. Okay, now. Um, we're going to go over with the World Women's Challenge match. A dream match that I'm very excited for. We got Becky Lynch going against Leah. Again, for the Raw Women's Championship again. But yeah, I really am very excited. Leah had her, her first championship match in years and, and stuff like that. And, and yeah, I have. I'm really going to be. I'm just really going to enjoy this match overall. So, two generations coming at each other, stuff like that. And. and I don't know. I'm. I can say in here go either way, but again, I feel like that um, Becky is going to retain, and even though um, I'm, I won't mind Leo winning either. But again, 
I'm just going to say Becky Lynch is going to win. You know, hold it to me. I mean, you know, maybe going against Trish Stratus. Again, that's the only, kind of the only one I can think of. I mean, who's going to go against Becky Lynch unless she already did that. But I don't know. Now, again, I'm just guessing at this point, but Becky for the win. Let's move on. Next up, we got, got the Women's Lions and Chamber match. And we got... Actually, and the winner goes against Becky Lynch at Mania since Ron is going against Charlotte, but again, everything. And and, and just naming up the competitors, we have Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Dewdrop, Nikki, A Cross, or Nikki, A-S-H, um, dumb name, I can go over that forever, but I'm not. And Alexa Bliss, which was just added on Monday. Um... Another one that just got added to it, just got randomly added to it automatically. <sighs> you gotta go through a lot of this. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of this while everyone else was already just qualifying and everything like that, like normal. I don't know, I can go on forever about it, but yeah. This match, I, I can pretty much, um... I am, I'm pretty much gonna be entertained during this match, like I said, again. We had, it's all these in chamber, so I'm a little, I'm a little excited to watch there. Is there any boxes or anything like that? But who I think could win? Um, my guess I'm gonna just pick either Bianca or Bianca Belair or Alex Bliss. Just those two. Maybe Rhea. I don't know. I'm not expecting to drop a Nikki or or Liv Morgan. But those three for mostly. But I think I, I'm just gonna say Alex Bliss mostly for the win. But yeah. Again, we're gonna be excited for this one. One, and I could say for the R one, even though I have a bunch of bunch of things to talk about for the men's women's the chamber match, but yeah. Now that that's done, let's move well, on to another match that I'm very excited for. We have the Universal Championship on the line. We have Roman Reigns and Goldberg, the dream match of the sin of the, that that's finally gonna happen. I think we've seen this multiple multiple time. We've seen it's on everyone's mind. It's not, I, I, Match that everyone wants to see. And that's probably when you done in like universe modes and stuff like that. But yeah, we we gotta get into. We're finally gonna see it, and yeah, it's it's, it's Roman versus Goldberg. Or yeah, finally, but yeah, I guess this as far as I'm in a hurry, it was supposed to happen two years ago at WrestleMania, and I was kind of wondering what was it two years ago, and then it hit me. It was 2020, and, and I guess it was going to happen mainly until the pandemic happened and everything, and the world went to hell. And like I said, I don't know. That was a war. And so now it's finally happening at Saudi Arabia, and and yeah, I'm kind of wondering who's going to win this. Um, it can go either way, and I'm very excited for it. Again, the Battle of Spears, and just two generations again. And stuff like that, and finally I got to use this GoPro video or something. And like I said, and um, yeah, I don't know who could win this match. On like I said, Goldberg could win because he because he has a bit, kind of a track record, a very good track record at um Saudi Arabia. And then the obvious Roman, but again, I don't know. I can see either way. Could we, again. Goldberg could win, and we can have a fail four-way with um, Seth add, add to the mix, along with Goldberg, with Brock, and everything. With Brock Lesnar and everything. Or we can just see Lesnar winning, and then again, we can just see either just him and Brock or Seth Rollins add to it. I don't know, like I said, we can see it in a way, but I think just be safe, I'm going to say Roman's going to win. I don't know, it's just kind of like the obvious choice, and I feel like it's going to happen. Happen, like I said, but yeah. This match is going to be pretty good, uh, pretty a banger match, hard hitting, everything like that, but yeah. Now to go on to the main event, which we have the Elimination Chamber ma men's Elimination Chamber match with, the, for the very championship match, we have the championship, the champion Bobby Lashley going against Brock, Brock Lesnar, the Royal Rumble, Rumble winner, um, AJ Styles, Matt, Matt Riddle, Seth Rollins, and Austin Theory. Um, very surprised he was able to beat Kevin Owens still. I don't know. I, I feel like they're pushing Austin Theory just to have him lose, even though I, even though, again, I felt like he was going to win. Even though I felt like they were aiming for him to win the Royal Rumble, and then 
I thought AJ was going to win, and, well, yeah, I, I'm going to go through that now. So, yeah, this match is going to be pretty exciting, but at the same time, it's riddled with so many questions that, and stuff that it very anno really annoys me. Okay, let's get this out of the way. But first, Brock Lesnar. Why is he even in this match? Why? Is he in this match? He won the Royal Rumble, which he shouldn't have been in that in the first place, and he shouldn't have been. He shouldn't have even won it. I will never understand it. I can, I'll go on, but you'll hear that when in my Royal Rumble review. But I don't know. No, but, uh, I can go on forever without that, but I can not. So yeah, he just got gets added in the match. No, no qualifying matches ever. Seth Rollins, well, he doesn't bother me being in this match, um, he was just added to this match because his performance in the Yoko the Championship match. And at this point, why can't he just went to SmackDown? I'll never understand. And this either. I don't even understand the whole the disqualification thing. Roman getting himself disqualified. And then Austin Theory, well, he, he won a qualifying match, I was still surprised. And the rest is pretty good, but yeah. Yeah, besides those questionable things, um, I, I will see the match. I'm, I'm going to pretty much enjoy the match, and as far as I'm going to think, going to win. I have no clue, and I have a bad feeling that Brock's going to win, and then he's going to go on to WrestleMania, and it's going to be title for title, but, which I feel like it's going to happen. We got AJ, and then we got, got Riddle, and then we'll, then we'll possibly winning. I want, want AJ to win. I kind of want Seth to win also, but I don't expect Austin Theory. He's 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 like a he's like a little fish in the big big um caged pond. On like I said. So as far as I'm gonna think it's gonna win, I'm gonna pick AJ. But I think as far as reality goes, it's gonna be Brock. But I'm gonna pick AJ, and then I bet my back is gonna be Seth. As much as I want to see what will win, be the other champion once, but. I don't think it's going to be now. It's not his time yet. So, yeah. It's, it's just going to be AJ back up Seth Rollins, but in reality, it's going to be probably Brock. And then, or maybe, or heck, even maybe Lashley might retain. But, yeah. Overall, that's basically my predictions for the Elimination Chamber for 2022. And, yeah, I'm going to be doing my review after the show's over, and I'll be later in the day, hopefully. I, I will be able to get it because I'm, all, I'm also going to be going up to see Uncharted, which again, like I said, I'm going to be getting up early and stuff like that. I don't know how long this pay-per-view is going to be, but be, I don't think it's going to be too long, but again, like I said, I feel like it is going to be long, but I don't know. But like I said. And, and... But that's pretty much it for my predictions. Remember to comment down below what you guys think of this pay-per-view. What are your predictions? Stuff like that. What do you think of my predictions and my video? Oh, and stuff in general. Remember to subscribe. Tap the bell. More videos coming soon. I already have a bunch of plans. Plans. I've been well, kind of put the channel on the back burner and everything. I am. And with my birthday coming up, uh, up next month, I'm going to be doing a lot of things. Remember to to share these social medias to this channel so expand to expand the subscriber count and stuff like that and just uh rise up for this channel. And and this is Ida's team, the Golden Rider. Rider kicking.